Hey everybody, it's Philip at NYC Music Services back with another tutorial video for you. This time we're talking about copying and pasting dynamics in Finale and Sibelius without actually changing the notes. So copying and pasting is a huge time saver any way you slice it, but sometimes you want to just take the dynamics from a particular staff and copy them to other staves without actually changing the notes uh, that are in those instruments. So I'm working in Finale 2009, but um, this works really for any Finale version from 2006 up to the current version 2010. In a minute I'll also show you how to do it in Sibelius as well. But first we're in Finale and the first thing I'd like to do is select the three bars in this case that contain the dynamics that I'd like to copy. Then I'm going to Option Shift Click or Control Shift Click in PC Windows and what that does that brings up a little dialog here called the Filter and that's what inserting the shift in there as opposed to just option clicking does. Uh, the shift, option shift uh, mechanism brings up the filter and then I can choose which items I'd like to copy and which ones I don't. In this case I want to first select none to deselect all the checkboxes. Then I'm going to select expressions which cover as you see here my dynamics as well as smart shapes assigned to measures. Now that'll cover my hairpins. Those aren't actually assigned to notes, those are assigned to measures. So then I click OK and there they are. My dynamics are in the next staff without changing the notes. From then on, Finale remembers your last settings. Those settings are sticky, so, uh, as they're so called. And then I can just option click. I don't have to use shift. I don't have to bring up the filter again. I can just option click into the remaining staves. And in a very short amount of time, I have copied all the dynamics into those staves. Now you notice here they're not aligned properly. Uh, there's a, they're a little off horizontally. Well, I'll show you an easy way to fix that as well. Select all of the instruments. Let's go to the plugins menu and you see here under TG tools the very first option align move dynamics. That's a nice feature. It brings up uh, the align move dynamics plugin. There are various options here. Right now I'm going to use average distance and leave all these options checked. And I hit go and as you see in the background there uh, Finale will nicely align horizontally all of my dynamics so everything looks nice and clean. So that's how to do it in Finale. Let's switch to Sibelius now. Right now I'm using Sibelius 6 and you see the same passage I have up here on the screen. Though the process is actually fairly similar. First I would select all the measures here. I'm going to go to the filter and the way to bring up the filter in Sibelius is simply to go to the menu and there are shortcuts assigned to this as well. You see uh, Alt Shift D in PC would be uh, would be Alt Shift D as well. So Option Shift D, I guess in Mac. So I select that, and now that filters out my dynamics, or I should say, filters out everything else and leaves the dynamics. Now I can literally Option Click, just like I did in Finale. Option Click each of the staves, and look at that. Everything is nicely lined up. Everything is copied into the staves without actually copying any of the notes. There's actually another way in Sibelius, and depending on your score, it could even be faster. Say I'd like to do that, I go through the process of selecting my music. Let's do that again. I select the music. Here I'm just going to use the shortcut, Option-Shift-D, to select the dynamics. Now I Command-C or Control-C to copy the dynamics to the clipboard. And again, that's in the menu too. You can see it right here, Copy. So I copy the dynamics, and now I select all the instruments that I'd like to paste the dynamics into. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I uh, do uh, Command V, or from the menu, of course, Paste. That's the shortcut for Paste. And just like that, all the dynamics are pasted into all of the instruments. It's a really great time saver. And of course, with this magnetic layout feature in Sibelius 6, everything is automatically aligned for me already. I don't have to do any further alignment. And even if I move things up or down like so, it's really nice that the dynamics will move up and down with me. So anyway, that is uh, copying and pasting dynamics in both Finale and Sibelius. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.